will try and be very brief by, by way of introduction, and um, then we're going to be Need on the mic. in working there you go. groups um, to tease out uh, some of the, the, the themes for, for the coming uh, days. But I'd like to do it a little bit of in, in, uh, in context, if we could have the next slide. So what you see here, the global risk outlook, that's from the, the World Economic Forum from earlier this year. I think the message is basically we, we live in a very turbulent and risky uh, world. So the question, uh, next slide, um, is really um, thinking through, you know, what is our common future. And I very much like always the process of Otto Sharma and the, the U process, which basically takes you uh, in many ways from old belief systems to new belief systems or an old world perspective and a new world perspective. And the, the place that we were taken to in meditation uh, briefly, and thank you for for setting that up very nicely. We didn't even talk about it. But the place um, where we go to source of our creativity, where we can let go of all sorts of beliefs and ideas that perhaps no longer serve, and we can open ourselves up to the limitless possibilities of, of the future, sort of take us out of our normal box that we're in, including the financial system that we're boxed into, and we can start thinking out of, outside of the box and, and, and see what, uh, what might be uh, uh, possible. So next slide, please. So if we think about uh, financial innovation for life, um, which is really the, the subject here, because if we want to finance a more sustainable world, it is so much about bringing back balance between people and human enterprise as it has been done, business as usual, but we're really, there's a lot of urgency that we reinvent business, reinvent the human enterprise model so that we can usher in a new. So, um, so it's so the topic here is uh, financing global development, but it also goes very much to what is our intention, what is our core intention, because intention in the end ends up creating the reality we see around us. For me personally, the question here is very much also around what is in the center of this infinite flow graphic here and the, the, the upward spiral uh, in there is how can we change the operating logic of the financial system so that it creates a new reality in support of the sustainable development goals considering the planetary boundaries considering uh, social uh, foundations and the hint here is also how can we harness modern technology, blockchain, cryptocurrency, perhaps as part of that uh, solution. So next slide, please. So what I'd like to do is that we work in working groups um, for maybe half an hour, and that we uh, address uh, in each of these groups, what do you see as the role of the financial markets in human development and, and social evolution? Um, transforming financial markets, what, what, what are the key ideas here, uh, initiatives, uh, proposals uh, out there? <coughs> and um, look at um, the financing of climate action programs and the SDG and also 
in the context of asking yourselves the question, is this incremental or is it truly uh, transformational? So your challenge in a way, your mission is um, to mobilize uh, four to five trillion per annum um, for supporting this, this transformation we need to, to, uh, to go for and uh, work on the support the SDGs and be in harmony with all life and um, grow true wealth and breathe new life into the quality, quantity and the design of our philanthropy, how we share profits and um, how we do our investments and also to address it in the context of a values-driven approach which deals with things like ethics, reciprocity, responsibility, and um, the right relationship. So, uh, next slide, please. So what I hope in harvesting uh, after half an hour or so of discussions uh, around the table is to um, come up with um, the solutions that are in the room here. Um, so the co collective intelligence wisdom, uh, if you wish. And it, in a way, really, the questions go to intention, uh, the logic of the financial system, and then how we allocate resources to realize and manifest uh, our intention. So um, please, um, you can stay at your table as you, you wish. Um, assign uh, or uh, choose somebody amongst your mid who can uh, report back at the end, representing what emerged uh, around the table. And then we'll um, share that uh, in the last 15 uh, minutes. And hopefully, this will also open up uh, much uh, dialogue uh, for the rest of the of, of the days, and it sort of gives us all a perspective of the, the lay of the land and, in fact, uh, the consciousness uh, in the room. Thank you.